Hey everyone, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Um, so I'm doing a little different spread. I think I told you guys I was going to do this. Um, hope everybody's well. Um, please do hit like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy this reading. I'm going to try to do this like once a month. We're going to take a look at your person and what's going on with them. So the way the spread is set out, um, if you're dealing with uh, a male, fire, water, earth, or air, I'm going to take a look at their energies. If you're dealing with a female, fire, water, earth, or air, I'm going to take a look at their energies. So I will try to put stamp, time stamps below in the comments section that you can go directly to the person that you are connecting with, but we're going to take a look and see what's going on with them, their feelings towards you, what messages they may have for you. Now, little disclaimer, if you are in a relationship where you're connected to someone who's extremely abusive or toxic in any way, please don't um, get yourself in a position where you see them in a different light because if you're dealing with someone like that, these readings will not be for you. But if the messages give you a sense of hope and healing, then that's always a positive, okay? So let's get started with the reading. We're going to take a look at the fire sign male, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, to see what's going on with them, what their romantic feelings are towards you, what they're feeling at this time. Okay, if you're dealing with a fire sign male, okay, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek, and I feel like the fire sign male is feeling this way about you, like they know that you are the person for them, okay? Um... I kind of feel like when I look at the fire sign male here, kind of in contemplation, and um, but getting ready to act on something here with you. Now let's take a look. Let's see what other messages they have for you. The fire sign male. If you're connecting with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, they feel that you are the romantic partner. They may just be coming to realize it at this time that you are their person. Yep, this person's going through their life review. Hmm, I felt that energy, like they are just sitting there trying to think, think about things, looking over the past, looking over their love relationships, how things were or how they were in the past, what, what their relationships were like, where they made mistakes, where they need to clear the energy up or do better. Um, this person may have been someone who was just constantly out seeking or um, partner hopping, you know, or kind of like a serial dater. And I feel like there's a settling kind of energy here, this person thinking now, like, hmm, maybe Virgo was the one for me the whole time. And I feel like Virgo is the one for me. So really going through a lot of... Um, sorting things out right now okay yep this relationship deserves a second chance so i feel like that your person here is in this position now of like it feels like wanting to try to make something work here with you again like giving it another chance but they're coming from a different place i feel they're really starting to think about what they want now what they what they can offer you is how it feels virgo let's see what other message there is for you <laughs> they can't stop thinking about you virgo you are completely on this person's mind they are really considering settling down with you like really getting to a no more um seeking no more searching i feel like the answer was in them the whole time and this person just was not able to self-reflect um, or just take a look at themselves. They're asking themselves what they want out of life, who the best, you know, who their person is, who their true love is. And it's you, Virgo. So if you're just curious about this person or what's going on, you could have not met them yet. This could be somebody that you could be meeting, like your future person, okay, where they're just in this position of like really like taking their love lives seriously, okay? So that's for 
Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, males. Okay, so let's go over to Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, female. If you're connecting with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, female. Okay, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So I feel like this person is very interested in going a bit deeper with you, trying to understand who you are, uh, deepening a bond with you. Okay, and like I said, these could be people you're already connecting with or you will be coming up in the month of November. Um, so there is an interest here. This person's very curious about you. Let's see. I lived my life through you. Okay, for some of you, this is like a friend. Um, uh, like a romantic, like a friend where you guys, there wasn't any romantic kind of thing really starting, but if like, it, it feels like it's beginning here now. I feel like this person, like, being around you or connecting with you or will be it's like everything about you excites them they want to know more about you i know i don't know i just kind of feel like when it says i lived my life through you you'd led them in some way or you you do something that you lead this person in some way but i feel like this person wants to be closer to you open up and and get deeper and go deeper with you let me see what the love message is here. Yeah, this is a true love connection. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. Wow. Virgo. I, I kind of get a sense that this person has such great admiration for you. Like wherever you would go, they wanted to go. Whatever you were doing, they want they wanted to do. Whether it was a friend or if somebody new coming in, coming in, it just kind of gives me this sense like this is really like a true love connection. This is like beautiful, a very beautiful connection here with a fire sign female. Let me see here. Another hidden truth. Just being near you is intoxicating. Okay, some of you just have simply have a stalker. Point blank period. Some of you just have a stalker. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> I mean, I just get a sense like this fire sign female would follow you anywhere, would do anything. They, they may have just been kind. They feel lost without you. I don't know. I, I, I have to keep it real here. I, I, I definitely feel like it's a little creepy. I'm not going to lie. I do feel like it's a little creepy and I feel like this person is like obsessed with you <laughs> living their life through you like I don't know it's just November I mean I definitely feel like whoever they are you know it could be a friend it could be <laughs> a romantic partner um, whatever the situation is or they could be coming in I just feel like maybe a little stalker alert here for you <laughs> I'm not going any deeper with the fire sign female. <laughs> All right, let's go over to water sign males. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. If you're dealing with a water sign male, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Let's see what their <laughs> romantic message is here for you. Okay. Oh, ask for and accept support from others. Let your friends help you. So I feel like this, this water sign male is like leaning on their friends at this time they're they're seeking support help and support um, from their friends in regard to you something about you i feel like maybe they don't know what's going on or they're confused uh, they're trying to get in touch it, I, it's it's weird it's like I feel like they're just talking to their friends or other people in their life asking for like how to handle a situation or how to handle something. Let me see what else is going on here. Oh, this water sign male is hoping that you will forgive them one day. Okay. Something must have happened. And this feels like somebody you know. Something that must have happened in the past. And I feel like this person is like, 
maybe seeking validation from friends or family or trying to i feel there's a lot of like pain with the water sign there's a sense of feeling bad about something and asking hoping asking or hoping that you will forgive them for the way they treated you or something that they did or something that they didn't do okay this person wants to marry you virgo the marriage card this relationship is moving toward a sacred union they might be asking their friends for support uh, like um maybe they had cold feet there might have been a marriage planned or an engagement or something along those lines and this person uh, maybe backed out of your life or gave up uh, got cold feet and now they're trying to recover that your relationship let me see the hidden truth what is the hidden truth oh they couldn't let you get close to them that's really what was going on I, I feel like there's some remorse and regret for keeping you at arm's length or having cold feet this relationship was heading towards something or going somewhere beautiful and and maybe they relied or they spent way too much time with their friends and didn't give you enough time um, or just backed out of it i feel like there's a, a sense of regret here with a water sign that you might be or you might have connected with or are connecting with currently interesting okay let's take a look at the water sign female cancer scorpio pisces female if you're connecting with a water sign female okay it says worth waiting for okay this water sign female is not giving up on you they think this relationship and you are worth waiting for they're willing and and happy to let divine timing take over and when it's meant to be it will be let's see what other messages here i care too much about other opinions okay so the message for you if you were dealing with a water sign female is this person was too concerned about what other people thought about your relationship or about you or about them um and that was a huge huge issue for them this person was like a candle in the wind you know if somebody told them that you were no good then they said okay you're no good and then if somebody told them you were the best thing ever then they would believe that so this person was kind of like a sponge they were mushy really not had um, a sense of conviction and that took a toll on a, on a relationship let's see obsession someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts wow so virgo i feel like this water sign female cannot get you out of their mind there's a there seems to be uh not only that but like i do feel like they're gonna wait for you but i feel that there's just this obsessiveness of caring too much about what other people think and not being able to stand on their own on their own two feet but also very obsessed about your relationship they don't want to lose you but mm, it's bizarre energy yeah they wish things could be different i don't really feel like this person's you know this is just kind of the energy that we're trying to pick up here it's not about whether they're coming back or if they're coming back or you know giving you dates or anything it's just more about picking up on the deep dive into these the energies of these people whom you are connecting with it almost feels like a sense of needing some answers and closure for you okay so i do feel like the water sign female at this time is feeling kind of I don't know i feel like the water sign male and female are in like pretty bad place right now there's a lot of regret okay so let's take a look here at the king of pentacles male so if you're dealing with a virgo taurus or capricorn male let's take a look and see what this energy is with them honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together boy <laughs> this person 
wants to be with you. They want to spend time with you for sure. I feel like this person might be making plans. And I, after I just said, I, we're not really sure. Well, so I'll tell you what, holiday time is coming. I feel like this person, uh, your, your male earth sign, definitely wants to connect with you and possibly is making plans to do that over the holidays, wants to spend some time with you. Let's see what the other messages are. Okay. I see all that you do for others. Wow, Virgo. This person is really like recognizing you, seeing the, the, the service or how you are with others and the things that you do for other people. I feel like they're, they're noticing you, Virgo. I don't know what you exactly do for other people or you help people in some ways, but this person sees this, okay? And for some of you, this could be somebody you don't know who's watching you and really admiring the things you do and wants to get together with you. Okay, another earth sign, male. Let's see, messages of love. Oh, this person feels like this is a destined partnership. It's fate. It's destiny. The two of you, 100%. It's probably the best one yet. This is a destined partnership. That's how they feel. They feel you two are meant. Right now, they feel that you were meant to meet, or they will be feeling that when you do meet this person. I think it's meant to be. Let's see what the hidden truth is. Oh, they look for you everywhere. <laughs> I told you, this person's kind of watching you. I don't know if you're like, if you know them, you're not involved with them, or you're not communicating with them at this time, or they're, you're just kind of off the grid, off the radar. They're looking for you. Okay? And for others, if you are communicating with this person, I feel like they look at their phone a lot to see if you've messaged them. They look at, um, yeah, that's what it is. Or they look to see if you've called. Um, that's really what it is. With their eyes. I don't know how else they could be seeing you. I don't know how else they could be looking at you. Or looking for you. Maybe when they go to the coffee shop or something. Maybe the place that you guys went to or you go to. They look to see if you're there. Interesting. Okay. So let's go over to earth sign female, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. If you're connecting with an earth sign female, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay. Well, deception. Someone's wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Okay. That's not great. But if you're connecting with an earth sign female, she's pretty much a deceiver. <laughs> She's, she's got a false mask on at this time. Maybe she's an actress or an actor, but she's not who she pretends to be. Let's see. I didn't mean what I said. Ooh, okay. This person has a sense of guilt or feels bad about something that they said to you. I feel like it wasn't, I'm just hearing it wasn't me. It wasn't me when I saw the shower. It wasn't me. I feel like this per, this uh, earth sign female, it feels like she, they, she had to say something to you, but she didn't really mean it. She had to put on a front or put on a mask to say something to you, but she didn't really mean it. That's strange. Patience, everything will unfold in divine timing. Um, so I feel like this this uh, earth sign female is waiting for the right time to remove the mask and apologize to you for something. Something that she said, maybe there was an argument and she put up like a, a front, a tough girl kind of front, okay? Um, it feels like sorry for saying something to you or maybe in an argument or some kind of words or something that was said let's see okay they want to be more than friends okay they might have told you this this earth sign female might have told you that she wasn't interested in you or she may tell you that she was pretending it feels like tough girl front she was pretending she didn't mean it. 
She wants to be more than friends with you. Interesting. Hmm. So if she told you, you know, recently, if you've been connecting with this person, that um, she was seeing somebody else or she wasn't interested or if she even went to the greatest lengths and said she didn't like you or something. All bullshit. All a front. Okay. She definitely is interested in you. Maybe a fear of getting hurt or something along those lines. Okay. Okay. November is looking pretty interesting. All right. So if you're dealing with an air sign male, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Let's see. What are the messages? The air sign male, divine masculine male, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay. Wants to give this relationship a chance. Wants to work on the partnership with you. Okay. Let's see. Another message here. I know this isn't fair. Oh my goodness. You must know this person already. Something happened between the two of you. Things didn't work out right. Or something happened. Or something's happening currently in the connection. That is not fair. And this person knows that it's not fair to you. However, I feel like they want to try and make it work despite this struggle that you guys are in or whatever you're going through either together or separately. They're really aware that maybe what's external to you and them in your partnership is not fair. They don't want to give up on you though. Okay, there's some time apart, okay? That might be what's going on. There might be some kind of separation between the two of you. Um, that's much needed at this time. And it isn't fair. And this person doesn't feel it's fair if you've walked away from them. Or you don't feel it's fair if they've walked away from you. Um, it seems like the time apart is a necessary thing that needs to happen to gain clarity about whatever's going on in this, like between you. I don't feel like this person wants to give up though. Okay. Even if there is separation and it sucks, it doesn't seem to me like they're going to quit on you. It could also be some of you might be speaking to someone that you're at a distance with and it's really hard and it doesn't feel fair because you both want to be together, but maybe you can't because of things going on in the world at this time. Okay. But I don't feel like this person's going to give up. I replay our conversations over and over. Okay, so you, a lot of you are in a long distance thing with someone. And the majority, uh, the bulk of the relationship is text messaging, phone calls, FaceTime, whatever. And or recorded uh, videos or voice notes or what have you. And the energy that plays out here is that this person, when they're not with you, um, or they can't speak to you. They still listen to pre-recorded messages or voicemail messages. Or they, they reread texts and stuff like that. So I don't feel like this person is giving up on you, this air sign at all. This air sign mail. Okay. They definitely want to keep working on this relationship. Okay. So air sign female. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. If you're connecting with an air sign female, make sure you guys hit like on the video, please, and do subscribe. All right, let's see. Air sign female. What are the messages with the air sign female? Religious factors. Ooh. Okay, you guys. So this person might feel like there are some huge obstacles in the way of the relationship, either different religious beliefs. Um, they're either obstacles or they're just, this person was raised a particular way and you were raised a different way. Um, can it still work out? It's, it could, um, it's possible, 
but I'm not sure this person feels like it's really all that probable. Okay, so it could be re different religious views. Um, it could be different uh, race. It could be um, different economic status, cultural differences, uh, what have you, right? So I feel like this air sign female is kind of in this energy right now. see and they projected their unhappiness onto you oh okay huh I'm feeling um, that this air sign female blamed you they were unhappy and they said it was all your fault okay or they will be there's an energy of like blaming you for something. They were very unhappy because of the differences and then they said it was all your fault. And the reason why you guys aren't together is because um, like whatever the differences or the obstacles are your fault. It just feels like a yeah, projection kind of thing. Instead of working with you to try to overcome the obstacles, they projected um, the obstacles and their dim, like their despair about that onto you. Let me see. Okay. Although this does feel like a past life love to them, they, you you knew this person before. You may have gone around a few times with them. Okay. Um, it's a very intense connection, and because the intensity of the connection is so strong, it's difficult to sustain. And it feels like a, a strong opposites attract kind of thing. Um, it feels like actually a very karmic type of a situation. There's lessons here that um, are still being learned between you and this person. Let's see. I wish I could share my good news with you. Okay. So this person does have some good news, definitely. Um, they want to tell you about. I don't know exactly what it is because I'm not going deeper with that. Um, but I don't feel like you guys are communicating at this time. Okay. I feel like some of the news might just be that they're happy now. And they're hoping that you are happy in your life. But I do feel like there's some type of separation that's happening here due to... A different beliefs um, that are ingrained in this person it's almost as if this person cannot overcome the challenges or the obstacles um, and I feel like if they could talk to you uh, Virgo I feel like this air sign female would tell you that they are in a you know happy or something something good is happening in their life and they they wish they could tell you but they're they're not going to tell you about it because they feel like they've pushed you away and now they can't return to just share there, so there's a lot of regret happening here in these readings oh what the hell is going on but it just feels to me like they can't they can't tell you they can't so they pushed you away they blamed you for stuff um and now they have this good something good is happening to them and and now they're kicking themselves because they can't share it with you you know the good parts about the relationship because they were trying to get what they wanted from you and blaming you for why it couldn't happen so i feel like this person kind of you know cut off their nose to spite their face or something like that and i feel like they dug themselves into a hole and and now they're Kind of kicking themselves for pushing you away and blaming you all right so those are your messages for each individual sign let me know how you like this spread and how you like this reading i'll try to do this once a month i was gonna do the twin flame thing and then i just kind of felt like let's just take a break from the twin flame thing for a little bit um so yeah definitely leave me a comment like tell me if you enjoy this um i don't if you enjoy it uh, then that would give me inclination to do it again. If you criticize it, then you can F off because I'm a creator. So I'm not here looking for you to tell me whether my work's good or not. I want you to tell me if it's something you would like to see 
again. All right, you guys. So thank you. Excuse me. Thanks for watching. Let me know how it goes. I will see you guys in the live stream later this evening. Um, and do hit like, share, and subscribe on the video if you enjoy this. And I'll talk to you all later. All right, take care.